We're flying. We're going to a place. That's it. I don't have anything else to say. I have nothing to contribute. I'm very tired. Welcome back to Four Dorks. Welcome <laughs> back to temporary Four Dorks play. Four Dorks play. It's a little lazy. Yeah. Oh, Moses is lazy. Look at this cat. Moses. I wish I could be sleeping right now too, Moses. I'm gonna sleep like a fucking baby tonight. Because there up. won't be a dog farting in my fucking face all oh night. Oh my god. I have to get up at 5.20 tomorrow. Yes. That's disgusting. Why? Six o'clock shifts. Ugh. I'm taking over for my friend. Uh, I'm taking over for uh, my buddy at work. Gotcha. So I'm six to three. It's going to hurt. Six but the, three, uh, that's sorry. going to be money. Yeah. Money needed. Hey. 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 <laughs> Do you feel any better? Nah. Well, same routine. Wonder Boy here. This is Hero Days are over. And Bill thinks it's all in his head. We're sure. We know you're a hero. That's right. I love that there's a direct scare staircase between the fucking underworld and, like, the Greek equivalent of heaven. They don't want to be technically the same place. Yeah. Uh, well, they're all in the same realm. It's just that Elysium is for like the goodest boys, and then Asphodel is just for like everybody that's kind of mad. And then Tartarus. Yeah. Which I think is where they did most of the designs for um, the world the world and most fiction. They, just, they think more about hell than they do yeah. what the underworld actually is. Even then, Tart like Tartarus is like a pit, like the pits of Tartarus, <laughs> like and Asphodel is just like a field. It's kind of like boring. There's not really anything to do. But maybe doing nothing is exactly what the dead want to do. They're like, oh, I'm fucking tired of doing things. Exactly. So many fictional terms are like, yeah, Hades, he was a monster, but in the actual myths, he was. I think he's the only one that's not like a fucking psychopath. <laughs> like, no offense to like the big guy, but like <laughs> Zeus causes more Zeus is a than Hades chaos does. goblin. <laughs> is it Hades literally just misunderstood? Like he got the short end of the stick with his job? Basically, yeah. Sorry, do I have people participate in the Hades Cup? Yeah. Cool. I'm excited. Are you really though, Kate? Are you really? Yes. Okay. I believe you. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> Deffy the Hortless. Yeah, I don't think Hades is really happy that he. No, he's like he's not like, like chill like, about being in the underworld. But he also but, doesn't cause shit. Yeah. But it's like, it's so easy to make a villain out of something that you yeah. don't understand. Yeah. Like death. Exactly. Right? That's what I was thinking. It's so much easier to make death look like the evil. Because no one wants to die. Which is funny that well, so many places try to make Zeus look like a good guy. It's like, no, Zeus is probably the most egotistical out of all the Greek gods. Causes. <laughs> causes. Heracles. Heracles. Yeah. Well, that's his, that's his Greek name. <laughs> well, if you say it like Heracles, why don't you say testicles? Yeah, that's right. What? I have two testicles. I have three. Oh. <laughs> Moses has none. <laughs> <laughs> when you said that, his eyes just opened so wide. <laughs> that's what they were. Oh, no. He's like, why'd you steal my testicles? Sorry, fellas. Rip Moses. Rip Moses' testicles. Yep. And then you have cats like Gremlin who I had to ask the vet to like double check because he's got such a noticeable fucking balls. <laughs> hey, yeah, Moses just has a fuzzy, a furry pouch for his block. 
What is it, Glock 19, Mark? Either way, he has a gun. For his neutral special, he, he, he wields a gun. Nice. I love Joker's uh, reveal trailer. It's just like, well, he has a knife and a gun, he'll be fine. Compared to, like, Samus, who's got, like, an arm cannon. To, yeah. like, Robin, who has magic. To fucking Sephiroth, who's literally Sephiroth. Honey, I don't think a knife and a gun is gonna cut it. Look at them go. Hey, you guys. That big ass door. Save. Mark, the Guzaks are open. So this is completely random and off topic, but I want a Luigi's Mansion game that doesn't have Mario in it. This one's supposed to be gone, right? Yeah. Okay, good luck being stealthy with Donald and Goofy. Still this thing. That's some kind of like a voodoo doll. Like a spirit capsule or something. Hercules. Heraculon? Heracles. In, in one of my classics classes in university, if you said Hercules when you're, when you're referring to the Greek stuff, my teacher would kick you out of class! <laughs> uh, okay, where am I supposed to go now? Right. It's been so long since I've played this, I don't remember anything. <laughs> I remember some things, but not a lot of things. What's wrong, sir? What is wrong? So raw? So raw? So raw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chunk up. Hmm. Break the statue. Well, it's probably, you know, wet Hades at all times. And you're asking him to kill a demigod. Harry Potter killed a basilisk with a sword. That's true. It's pretty unlikely. It's not yeah. a fancy sword. This guy's sword isn't a fancy though. It's just a hunk of steel with some carvings in it. Yeah, that's true. Now I get to go in the green door, right? 
I like when you go back in the door you came out, you were just in. So you gotta go back to um, Hayden's as far Alright. I'm glad we can say it when we do that. Cave of the Dead. can't be hurt by your attacks because your attacks hurt ducks he's not a duck he's oh. some eldritch creature from the deep and say donald is an eldritch creature who only masquerades as a duck yeah he is leading everyone astray with his shenanigans he's not a real duck from just randomly there's a skateboard in the underworld yeah Hades likes to, um, you know, show all the young young spirits where it's at. He does. He do the, uh... Yo, challenge. Do a kickflip into the, uh, god of the underworld. <laughs> do a kickflip. Into the god of the underworld. So he's <laughs> colliding with Hades every time. Can we do this? I'm just, I, I say that because I'm pretty sure there was one time. It was, I was... It was either a video I watched or it was a legitimate moment in Cards Against Man when I was playing with other people where someone played the combination of I did like a sick kickflip into the milkman. Let's right. see. Our first optional boss against Zexion. Zexion? Yep. Uh, in terms of design, uh, he's an emo punk ass bitch. Isn't that just the entire organization? No, I mean, like, look at when the book's on his face, look at that. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Emo punk ass bitch. <laughs> he is also I remember that he has the lowest health of any boss of any like mid to late game boss in this game. But that's because you're not you're barely actually touching him. Get rid of the book. What am I doing with the book? Be careful of it. I hope your friend is stuck in a book. I did to survive his illusions. I heard of getting absorbed into a good book, but that's just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah and he eventually just kind of forces everyone into the book. We gotta find the book that represents him, which I think is the one near Donald and Goofy. That's the one I'm kind of acting on the phone. Dispel. I feel like both of them talking up some things. What? What comes out of beating the optional boss? Um, I think you get accessories the first time you beat these guys. They're not. They're optional bosses. They're not super bosses. Finally, defeat the real form before it's too late. of anything there. I think you would have had to have used aerial recovery first. Just while you're in a knockback state, I don't think it lets you do anything. Aerial recovery at least forces you out of the knockback state, but also leaves you wide open for another attack, usually. Do you know what else leaves you wide open for another attack? In the next episode of Your Place. Yes. Marty in the elevator. In the next episode of Ryan's going to get stuck by an optional boss. <laughs> 